Someone please give me the clip of HBox fainting from <laughs> from popping off. <laughs> I think there's actually only one person in the world who could do that, and that's HBox. It's like the pop off meta. Everyone else in the world is here, and HBox is here. He's so far ahead of the pop-off game, he's innovating things in pop-offs that no one's even close to. It's like when no one in the world could run a four-minute mile and then someone did it. HBox is doing things that we thought were humanly impossible. Yes! <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry for I'm sorry, headphone users. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Fuck yeah! Yeah, mother... <laughs> This is so insane. That's an insane person. Yeah, mother. <laughs> That's so unhealthy. And it's not even a. F it's it's fucking like what losers finals of East Coast Fridays versus Ginger, and you popped off so hard you had an aneurysm. He's just exploring new worlds in the pop-up meta that no one even dares to. It's like the guys in the 70s that were injecting themselves with LSD to see what would happen, dude. He's just doing things no one has the guts to do. Is there more funny clips we could watch? Can I just watch like uh, LSF? <laughs> Let's watch LSF clips for a second. Streamer privilege. Well, no, think about it. Realistically, what do you need to survive? Food, water, heat. And internet. We barely survived. You're lucky this electricity is on. If this wasn't on, you'd be miserable like we have in the last three days. Right, but we didn't have blankets. I can survive weeks with the blanket Bro. that I have now. <laughs> I can survive yeah. weeks. I'm yeah, not you, you, you want to survive weeks? <laughs> Because all of us make fucking two point six million dollars a year playing fucking video games. <laughs> Back up a little bit. What the man. fuck are you talking about? I actually agree with Train so hard. Who, the, who is this guy? Who is this guy? That's four. Oh, that's four Connor. <laughs> okay, so he's a racist and he's also stupid as fuck. I don't. I, I've never seen this guy. I don't know what four Connor look like. This guy's not surviving weeks with a fucking blanket. I'll tell you that. No electricity. This guy's dead in fucking forty eight hours. Roving bands of HBox would murder you and cannibalize you within a fucking week for the electricity. HBox would rule. <laughs> There's like four streamers I would trust to survive. HBox is one of them, dude. He'd eat. He'd eat another human being in a heartbeat. I think XUC is just such a juicer. He'd find a way. He'd live in the sewer system and just thrive. Mango would probably be fine. <laughs> I don't think you can kill Mango. If four, <laughs> if a gallon of alcohol a day couldn't kill Mango. A little electricity's not gonna hurt him. Of course, Dream. Dream would Dream would thrive. There's no environment where Dream isn't on top. Dream would gain subs. Electricity could go out across the world and Dream would gain eight million subs. Three men violently assault an innocent biker warning graphic. What do you want? How'd you find us? <laughs> this is this is why I know Twitch streamers would die if electricity went out, dude. He's going at a leisurely pace. How are you gonna raid for food? He's not even trying. It's an NPC. It's an NPC. <laughs> this is my made up. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm laughing. I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> That's a good clip. <laughs> That's a good clip. Ms. Kiff kicks four goner out of the house. Wait, real? Connor is no longer allowed at my house ever again. Oh, shit. Good on you, Ms. Actually. <laughs> you know what, though? He'll, he'll survive. <laughs> as long as you give him a blanket on the way out, <laughs> he'll be fine for weeks. XUC banned from no pixel? Really? I feel like this happens to every RP server. The RP server starts, they have fun, XUC joins, he's a little intense for them, he gets banned, everyone gets mad, he rejoins, he's a little bit nicer, but it's not as fun, the server dies. Has this happened like four trillion times? <laughs> Do we see a pattern here? <laughs> Dude, I'll say this 100%, no cap. This is the most, this is the number one thing I've ever been jealous of for Ludwig. This is the coolest thing that's ever happened to Ludwig. 
I, I honestly, I told, I told, I was talking to him yesterday. I was like, dude, actually, that's so f cool. 80% of the videos that I watch are Magnus Carlson. Not a joke. If, if, the, if it has Magnus Carlson in the title, I click it. I watch Magnus Carlson vids all the time. He, I'm, he's probably the person I'm the biggest fan of as a competitor. And the fact that he unprompted would said I'd, I'd watch Ludwig, that's, that's so sick. That's honestly cool as shit. And then he wasted it by playing GeoGuessr with him. What an idiot! You get Magnus Carlson on your stream and you play fucking GeoGuessr? Who gives a shit? <laughs> I don't care if Magnus Carlson can guess if fucking it's Australia or not. My God! You have a pod chance match coming up. Have him teach you the rule of the square. Moxie's thoughts on Overwatch 2. I'm interested. So I'm going to tell you going in. Uh... I thought Overwatch 2, from a business point of view, is smart. It's a smart idea. Because you guys know the biggest Overwatch fans are not esports players. <laughs> They're not competitive FPS people. The people that have stuck with Overwatch, people that love to watch fan art and love the characters. And what more time in the world? No, I mean actual fan art, you fucking perverts. <laughs> There's actual fans of the characters. Not just fucking <laughs> whatever you guys are into, dude. Holy moly. Uh, oh, let me see what he says though. I want to hear is that's our only thing Overwatch is good for is the porn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's one take. Just watch Moxie stream, dude. <laughs> there's a home for you, Hbox or Moxie stream. A reminder I spell my name with an O. Oh my god, I just got that. That tweet is so much funnier. Dude, Connor does not miss on Twitter. I swear to God, he does not miss. I don't think anyone is on Connor's level. The The joke here is that he put, he tweeted it right as the four Connor shit was happening so that people wouldn't think it was him. <laughs> like, just reminder. But it's like a funny way to remark on the four Connor thing without mentioning his name. It's really clever. That's a great tweet. Oh, this was cool. Completed our train relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of... All right, Zoomers, all the Zoomers in my chat. If you are under, let's say, 18, this is where you're going to spend your 40s working for uh, Amazon, okay? So I want to take a close look. Try to pick out where your house is going to be, okay? Because once the global economy collapses, they're going to ship you off here, and you're going to fill out the rest of your days sort of working in the mines. Of Mars. It's crazy. Getting signals from MRO. You know, it's kind of Tango a Delta. bummer, though. The world is yeah, the world's so divided and like in our own individual niches and bubbles that we can't even be happy about. Like, you know, how you see this stuff about the moon landing and like everyone was watching it and like uh, everyone knew where they were and it was like a big moment. Everyone was like, holy shit. And now we like land on fucking Mars with footage and it's like a barely a blip on the news radar. Like, it was cool for. Everyone's talking about it for a day, and I don't know. It just feels like we we can't be happy about really cool shit anymore. We've done it before. I know. We, well, I know we've gotten something on Mars before, but how we is this like a this is a first time thing, right? Of Head like confirmed. this level of footage and control, or am I? I could be wrong. This proves my point even more because this is the third time. <laughs> then I didn't even hear about the first one. <laughs> XQC reacts to interpretation of him building new PC. His new PC be like, okay, this is gonna be dumb, I can already tell. <laughs> okay, good one, dude. <laughs> I can relate to that because I built this fucking $4,000 rig with a 3090 day of release, 64 gigs of RAM, and the first thing I played was emulated GoldenEye for the N64. <laughs> Code Miko blows Hot Chubby's mind with her Korean language skills. I know a little Korean. Anyang Haseo, okay? Um... There you go. <laughs> you know what's funny? So I went to Korea for eight months. I lived in Korea. 
And uh, before I went, I was like really studying. I can read Hangul. Like the alphabet, I can read it, but I don't much, I don't know almost any of the words, but I can read it. So if they're romanticized, I can read it. Um, and before I went to Korea, I studied. Like I took a career, I took two semesters of Korean. I was studying. And then I got there, and literally, like almost everyone in Seoul could speak English. They spoke it better than me, like than I would speak Korean. All the signs were in English and Korean. All the K-pop songs that were playing on the radio had English choruses. So I got there and I was like, well, this is easy. <laughs> and no one wanted me to try. Like I would try to speak Korean and they'd be like, oh, don't worry, I know English. And I'm like, well, I want to try. And they're like, well, let's get going here. So it, it didn't matter. Wait, what? Are you Korean? I am Korean. Wait, what? Yes. 안녕하세요. What? I was born in I understood that. Wait, are you serious? Yes, I'm Korean. What is? Oh my god. Well, okay. The only thing I understood was when you said Hanguk EAO, that means I'm Korean. Because <laughs> Hanguk is Korean and EAO is like I am. So that's all I understood. That's the only part of it I got. <laughs> I don't know why that blew her mind, though. But actually, you're. How is, actually, you're Korean. How is that so shocking? <laughs> Does she think the VTuber is real? <laughs> There's no person behind it? How are you Korean? You, you, you're digital. <laughs> you're in a computer world. How can you? Uh, my jealousy. I uh, imagine it's quite late for you right now, right? No, it's okay. I'm a night owl. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Me now, too. Have you heard of this? Me too, Magnus. We're both night owls. We're kind of similar in that respect. We're both chess god, night owls. He said he's a huge Marketing Monday fan. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, that makes sense. He said, I love your friend Atriox. Yeah, that makes sense. That all tracks. Uh, all right. I don't think there's any more on here worth checking out. I think we're good. Oh, I love, actually, I'll always watch these. Anytime there's a Dr. K out of context, I watch it. It makes me laugh every time. And what I'm hearing is that you're a failure. <laughs> Like you call it an accomplishment because like you graduated from community college. Good job, dude. You failed out of regular co college and you graduated from second class well, college. That's not even out of context. Yippee. That's just mean as fuck. Is there really, is there, there better be context to that. Are you serious? That, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was just, I didn't want I didn't want it to be so real. I thought he was going to be like, you're a bitch, Pokemon, and be like all cut up or something like that. <laughs> Ludwig translates some French. All right, we'll end on a funny Ludwig clip. Bring it home, Ludwig. <laughs> the two of you have been on a huge grind for the whole event. He said, eat shit, pussy, you're nothing. And then he said, uh, yeah, well, who, look at the scoreboard. <laughs> Good one, Ludwig. <laughs>